What's going on guys, Mix it here, back again for another review video. Because it's another non-alcoholic version of Copperberg and this time I will be reviewing Copperberg and Mixed Fruits. Because I got this from Morrison's. Because and this cost me from Morrison's £1.30. So I will be comparing the price, taste and design. Well it's Copperberg, it's pretty simple design. 7 out of 10, price £1.30. It will be cheaper if you buy in packs, I'm going to say price, I'd probably give it 6 out of 10. i say now to taste, does it taste like the real thing? Because I'm a big Copperberg fan, I do love it. So I've got my Copperberg glass, and let's put in some ice. Right, now let's open it up. Let's pour into it. With Copperberg, it's a very sugary drink, so it's quite high in calories. There's 109 calories, this is. But how does it taste? Does it compare against the real thing? God, that's much a difference. It's beautiful. I was going to say, if you like Copperberg, you like the non-alcoholic version. I could drink this. I could certainly down this. This is 9 out of 10. I compare against a real thing. It's 9 out of 10. because there's not a lot of difference. And that's beautiful. If you're a big Copperberg fan, like I am, as so I've done plenty of videos on Copperberg. I've done plenty of Copper Keg reviews in the past. And I'm a big Copperberg fan. And that's a 9 out of 10. So overall it gives it a score of 22 out of 30, it gives it an overall score of 7 out of 10 overall like that, or 7.33, but overall 7 out of 10, because I think that's not bad at all. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, very refreshing, it's a nice summer's day, it's good to say, but certainly cheer up on a dry January like that, but... This in the summer is an absolute winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. Could put a real thing. I could certainly... Because if I was going to pub and I'd drive in, I'd certainly have one of these. Because that's beautiful. But I've been mixing. What do you guys think of the non-alcoholic non version of the Copperbergs? Because which is your favourite Copperberg? Mine personally is probably Strawberry and Lime, my favourite go-to one. This is the mixed roots version of it. But I've been mixed. This has been my non-alcoholic Copperberg mixed roots review. Do you agree with my scoring or is there something you disagree with? Do let me know. It's because as I want feedback, I want your opinions. But I will see you guys for my next uh, mocktail or review video. It's because uh, have a nice day. Don't forget to like and subscribe to mix it. So it really does help the channel grow. And gives it algorithm and I really do appreciate your support but have a nice day and I will see you next time. Cheers.